Uh, in Baringo, 10 years into implementation of devolution, uh, serious concerns have emerged around the implementation of the budget. In, uh, it has been observed that year in, year out, the, counties have, the county government of Baringo has not been able to absorb, especially the development budget, which delays the much needed service delivery, uh, which citizens usually aspire through and even voice them through public participation. Uh, the Senate team has pushed the county executive to commit to improve budget implementation uh, moving forward, especially of flagship projects that are committed in the county integrated development plan to address uh, <coughs> service delivery concerns, improve livelihoods, create wealth and also create job opportunities for young people. There is also the concern of disbursement to counties and this is now Senate function at the national level as a defender of devolution, it has come out in this meeting that counties are receiving funds very late in the day, uh, even when uh, uh, the Senate passes a schedule of disbursement, it is not adhered to. Up to 60% of the budget of the resources that are, are allocated to the uh, equitable share to counties are disbursed in the second half of the year, towards the end of the financial year, which implies that county does not have enough time to do procurement and deliver services as committed in their budgets. It has come out in this meeting that only four health facilities in the entire of TRT East and West have, are connected to electric grid, which means that they are not able to offer critical services such as minor theater immunization, which requires refrigeration services. And now with this passage of this fund and operationalization, the Senate should follow up to see that it's actually implemented. This we, we, you've done a research on the count through the control of budget, the Auditor General Report for 2023-2024 financial year, the 2022-2023 financial year, and uh, we, 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 we have uh, realized there are many gaps to achieve proper development in the county. It is our hope that we, we engage the public more, especially on public participation, especially on key development projects and the acts and plans of the county government, especially the CIDP, the annual development plan, the CIPRO, that is the county review output paper. We want the public to feel that they are, the, the money, the public money, the revenue they, keep, they, they, they give to the county is being used diligently and prudently. The Baringo County people want to be involved more in development. Key, key development pro problem in Baringo is health, water and security. And of course employment and the building capacity for farmers and youth and women. And involvement of the PWDs and the Council of Elders and Religious Leaders in development projects. So it is our hope that the county government will factor in most of the proposals, will develop a, a, a report on the same and will discuss the county government and the county assembly so that we have a a unified uh, plan. Baringo County in the North Rift is the epicenter of all the insecurity. And when I talk of Baringo County, I refer to Tiati. I know the problem is Tiati. So I'm requesting this uh, forum that we see to it that we address the issues of insecurity in Tiati so that we can re realize our revenue go up. Next is on health. I appreciate the fact that we're giving it our best, but honestly, the situation is still very wanting. Uh, just the most recent incident on Saturday, um, about, uh, on the accident about Kapsabet, uh, Kapsabet boys, may the souls of those uh, who lost their lives rest in peace. I think it exposed our county nationally and internationally. As we speak right now, our CT scan machines are not up and running. I know there are efforts uh, to restore that, but uh, I think we need to do a lot on health. Again, right from the county to the sub-counties, uh, like Tiati County, for example, sorry for keeping uh, referring back to Tiati, but that's where I come from, and I see that is where most of our problems and challenges are. One of the presenters in the morning talked about immunization. To Kiongia Mamba immunization, we need electricity to run the generator so that we can immunize the children. But in TRT Waste, for example, I think the only health facility with electricity is Chemolingot Sub County Hospital. 
The rest, they are, there's no electricity coverage. I don't blame any one of us, but we have an alternative resource. That is the renewable energy, which is, which is solar. So how much have we thought of investing in solar so that we can have our health centers, our dispensaries, have up and running um, solar supply for health. So I think in relation to health, we are still very far from attaining the basic minimum uh, according to the international standards in regard to health. Next is water. I appreciate the speech from uh, the office of the Senate in regard to the opportunities in regard to water. But again, as we speak, what is water? When you talk of water, is it water for health, good water for human consumption or, wa or not? Like, for a, go back to Tiati, how many schools in Tiati have tapped water? I can attest that in Tiati West, for example, I think it's only Chemolingot Primary School which has water. But the rest of the schools, including the high schools, kids still have to travel to get water for, for their basic use in school. When we talk of inclusivity, Madam also speak, spoke about the issue of considering women issues. Women in Tiati still have to travel for kilometers, as far as 10 to 15 kilometers. So my humble request is, as we do our presentation, as we do our resource allocation and our offer site, let's focus at Baringo inclusively. Let's look at Baringo as a whole, so that when we report the good progress in the other sub-counties, we consider also what's happening in other sub-counties. Thank you. Uh, the last one is on the issue of uh, the geopark. I know when God created the world, he created Baringo as the best. And we have very good opportunities. We have Silale, for example. We have so many opportunities. We have Geothermal and the rest. So the issue is, what is out there? When somebody hears about Baringo, what is the first thing that comes to their mind? The negative publicity because of the insecurity. So I'm calling upon all of us. We address the problem of insecurity and then the rest will follow. We'll have good education, good health, and all the resources that God has allocated us. Thank you very much. Uh, how we did it uh, is that uh, we went with the leaders from all our constituencies. We include the women rep and the Senate. For the future, for generations to come. In conclusion, I remain steadfast in my commitment to promote 2022-2023. I think you are aware. It took us five years. In uh, 2018 again, we did another one for five years. So we are done with year one. I will invite my colleague at some stage. After we were ranked like number three out of the 47 counties, how about if you do an evaluation?